dear students in this lecture uh, i'll tell you something about the conformal mapping that with the use of conformal mapping how can we change our boundaries which are uh, present in the flow region but which are inclined at some angle and how with the help of conformal mapping these inclined boundaries may be converted into the boundaries which are either along x axis or along y axis or along the both axis as i told in the previous lecture i just summarize few things of that lecture this is conformal mapping you have a z plane you have a zeta plane both are the complex plane and is a mapping from z to zeta in z plane z is x plus iv in zeta plane you may write zeta is equal to xi plus i eta fz is defined as um, it is single valued and differentiable within and on a contour c in z plane and such that fz is equal to zeta now necessary condition necessary condition for the existence of a conformal mapping between the two planes is that as zeta is equal to fz then d zeta dz is not equal to 0 within or on any point of c then corresponding to each and every point within and on c what is c c is a closed contour there exists point within or on the corresponding contour c dash in zeta plane and we say that conformal mapping exists between the two now what are the what are the conditions or what are the advantages of this conformal mapping the first thing is that the source sink or doublet in z plane remains if we shift 
to zeta plane under conformal mapping. The second thing is the complex potential which is implied from the first point W is equal to phi plus i psi remains unchanged or unaltered conformal mapping kinetic energy of fluid in z plane per unit depth hum per unit depth kyun lete hain because we are working in two dimensional plane is equal to total kinetic energy of the liquid in zeta plane again it is per unit depth this condition is again under conformal transformation streamline in z plane represents represents a streamline in zeta plane this is the point where you will see the magic how the inclined plane inclined line converts to the uh, vertical or the horizontal line and the fifth one is the conformal transformation from z to zeta plane is defined by zeta is equal to z raised to the power n where n is equal to where n is equal to pi by 2 upon half of the angle between the boundaries mm -hmm. so this is the formula which will be used to find n and from there we will check whether d zeta d z is non zero or not which is the condition for this type of transformation to be valid now we will so see how we use this type of method to find the flow in the sense of source sink and some boundaries for that we will take one example in this example we have a source a source is placed at c alpha that is r is equal to c and source is inclined at alpha with x axis
this is given a source at C alpha between the boundaries theta is equal to pi by 6 and theta is equal to minus pi by 6. So, you are looking that theta is equal to pi by 6 and theta is equal to my by minus pi by 6. These are the boundaries. These are the inclined boundaries. If I draw it, you may see that I am taking a distance C which is inclined at an angle pi by 6. So, I should take like this. This point is C pi by 6. So, source is at C alpha. This is alpha. And this angle is pi by 6. So, I may write it C alpha or this boundary is at theta is equal to pi by 6. Another boundary is theta is equal to minus pi by 6. Here, we have a source of some strength at this point. Let this point be A, this point be B and this is O. Now next is and is sink at 0, 0. At the origin O, there is a string, there is a sink of the same strength. So I would write it as minus mm. And a sink at 0, 0 of the same strength. M. Find psi means find steam function and show that one of the streamline. is a point of the r q sin 3 alpha is equal to c cube sin 3 theta. This is a of interesting question. Here we know that boundaries are theta is equal to pi by 6 and minus pi by 6. So, we want to convert these boundaries into horizontal or the vertical boundaries. So, angle between boundaries. Is pi by 6 plus pi by 6. So, it is pi by 3. Now, half of the angle between boundaries is equal to half of pi by 3. So, this is pi by 6. Now, what is n? n is equal to pi by 2 divided by pi by 6. So, it is 3. So, we found n. Now, what is the conformal mapping? Conformal mapping is zeta is equal to z raised to the power 3. Now, suppose it is a point which is written as c pi by 3 or c alpha. So, here r is equal to c. Now, let me say that corresponding to this point A, there exists some point here. Abhi hum dekhenge point hoga kaha. So, let that point has the radius capital R. And that point when joined to the origin is making some angle theta. So, that point, this point will be written as R e raised to the power i theta. is equal to r e raised to the power i 
repeat a small one raised to the power 3 r cube e raised to the power i 3 theta so comparing the two sides r is r cube this is the new location r is old location and this is the new location and new angle is equal to 3 theta these two points are very important now look at the point our point was c so in the new plane r is equal to c represents r is equal to c cube r c and theta is equal to 3 theta ki se theta kitna tha hamara pi by 6 so theta is equal to pi by 6 represents capital theta is equal to aap rakho pi by 6 yahan par to this will be pi by 2 one boundary was pi by 6 so it is represented by theta is equal to pi by 2 this is theta is equal to pi by 2 and theta is equal to minus pi by 6 will represent minus pi by 2 so this is for pi by 2 and this is for minus pi by 2 so these boundaries this boundary is shifted to this boundary and this lower one boundary is shifted to this boundary now location look at the location r is equal to c represents r is equal to c cube so let it be the point this is the point which is represented by c cube and it is making an angle 3 theta so um, here i said that inclined at alpha alpha angle per inclined tha so i should write it as alpha it is 3 alpha so this angle is 3 alpha now look at the advantage in initial position or initially we have a source at a we have a sink at o and we have two boundaries these are the rigid boundaries present in the flow and due to the presence of these rigid boundaries the flow may be modified now to find what is the effect of these boundaries we first of all we would like to convert these inclined boundaries into the horizontal or the vertical boundaries so we use the conformal mapping here you can see that dz dz is, is equal to 3z square which is non-zero on the boundary so conformal mapping exists and applying the conformal mapping corresponding to a we get a point a dash where o dash a is equal to o dash a dash is equal to c cube and this is inclined at angle 3 theta because the relation between two thetas is that the new one will be three times the original one the original one was small alpha this alpha so it will become three alpha now look at the advantage this is the rigid boundary present in the flow region and this is the source now from the previous article from the image system we know that whenever there is a boundary we may consider the image so corresponding to a dash there will exist an image this is of strength m there will exist an image of a dash say a double dash corresponding to this line inclined at the same angle this is 3 alpha isko le lenge aage se jitna lena hoga and this is a sink so corresponding to this line this is a sink corresponding to this line this will also have an image and we will have another sink at the same point and which will be of the same strength minus m i am revising the point that these two inclined boundaries are converted into this rigid boundary which is y axis and we know from the image system that image of a source with respect to a line is another source equidistant from the uh, rigid boundary so the advantage is now we have no need to consider the presence of this boundary we just 
find the complex potential function, complex uh, velocity function with respect to these sources. Similarly, there was a sink at O which will remain at O but because of the image system, it will also have its image corresponding to this line that means sink will have sink as image system. So, there will be a sink of strength minus m. Now, we write about the complex velocity function. Now, what we have? We have number 1 source at c cube 3 alpha of strength m. We have to write this number 2 source at c cube pi minus 3 alpha of strength m sink at 0 0 of strength m sink at 0 0 of strength m now we write the complex velocity function w w is equal to source ki wajay se minus m log z minus r e raised to the power i theta likhte hain to r is c cube e raised to the power i 3 alpha next minus m log z minus c cube e raised to the power i pi minus 3 alpha then I have a sink so of the same strength m log z minus 0 so it will be z another sink log z so it is your w now you do certain mathematical calculations in it and then you can find psi because you are interested only in psi phi plus i psi is equal to minus oh I have done one mistake this is not z this is not z because now you are not in z plane rather you are in the zeta plane so I have to write zeta in place of zeta as I told you under the conditions that whatever the status of the source and sink was originally will be preserved. So, again we can use zeta replace zeta by z cube minus c cube e raised to the power i 3 alpha minus m log in place of zeta put z cube minus if you write if you open it e raised to the power i pi minus 3 alpha e raised to the power i pi will convert this minus symbol into plus and you are left with e minus i 3 alpha this is twice m log z cube in place of zeta put z cube in place of zeta put z cube, cube and add the two minus m log this is minus m log a plus log b so, log z cube minus c cube e raised to the power i 3 alpha and z cube plus c cube e raised to the power minus i 3 alpha plus m log z raised to the power 6. You can do the mathematical calculation in it. You Combine the two, you multiply the two and then put the value of e raised to the power i3 alpha, e raised to the power minus i3 alpha and solve. You will get minus m log z raised to the power 6 minus c raised to the power 6 minus twice i z cube c cube e raised sin 3 alpha. 
on raised to the power this one this will go in denominator again minus m log divide separately 1 minus c6 z is to the power minus 6 minus twice i minus 3 c cube sin 3 alpha now you write the value of z minus m log 1 minus c6 in place of z i'll write uh, r e raised to the power i theta so r minus 6 e raised to the power minus i 6 theta minus twice i r raised to the power minus 3 e raised to the power minus i 3 theta c cube sine 3 alpha now you open this e raised to the power minus i 6 theta minus i 3 theta put the formula of log separate real and imaginary part and then comparing the imaginary part you may find the value of psi you put psi is equal to 0 solve and get the answer Now after this you may do the related examples solved and unsolved from your book otherwise it is a very simple method to use the conformal transformation as well as use the concept of images and I think now it is clear that why we use this is image system why we use the conformal mapping we use the conformal mapping to convert our boundaries which are inclined boundaries to the horizontal or vertical boundaries and once we get the horizontal or vertical boundaries we may use the image system which is very simple because in that case we have no need to consider the presence of the boundaries in the flow region or any modifications due to those boundaries rather we consider the images and then by principle of superposition we write the complex velocity potential for all the sources or the sinks or the doublets present in your flow field and then and can get the uh, relations required. Thanks.